This is an example of pneumocystosis or pneumocystis pneumonia, which is a lung infection caused by the fungus pneumocystis yerovetsi. As a non-native speaker, I sometimes find it difficult to pronounce less common terms and Latin names. However, this is an exception because uh, pneumocystis yerovetsi uh, was named in honor of Czech biologist Otto Jirovec, and uh, I'm a Czech native speaker, so I'm pretty sure Jirovec is the right pronunciation, even though some other versions like Jirovecki uh, may sound cool as well. So when we look at this lung, uh, we can find that some of the alveoli are distended and uh, filled by foaming granular eosinophilic intra-alveolar exudate containing microorganisms. Uh, these microorganisms are not commonly seen in h &E stain and we need to use special stain like GMS or Grocot stain uh, to visualize um, the pneumocystis organism. We can also use immunohistochemistry uh, <clears throat> or immunohistochemical antibody designed to stain uh, pneumocystis microorganism. So this bubbly exudate inside of the alveoli here, 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 and also here is typical for pneumocystosis. We commonly also find lymphocytic infiltrate inside of the intra-alveolar septi. So the inter-alveolar inter septi are distended uh, with uh, lymphocytic infiltration. Sometimes we can find hyper eosinophilic fibrinous exudate uh, which together with cellular debris forms hyaline membranes and uh, diffuse alveolar damage which is morphologically defined by the presence of hyaline membranes is sometimes associated with, with uh, some severe cases of acute pneumocystosis. And this is already the second slide stained by Grocot stain uh, which stains positively uh, all the fungal microorganisms. Uh, for example, here in this alveolus, we can find the bubbly, uh, frothy uh, exudate together with positive uh, crescent-like trophozoites and uh, also with round cyst uh, with uh, dark staining central dots. Clinically, we can differentiate two forms of pneumocystosis, infantile form, which affects premature and malnourished infants and uh, the adult or sporadic form which occurs in immunocompromised patients, most commonly in HIV positive AIDS patients. The prognosis is quite favorable uh, when, uh, when uh, the disease is appropriately treated. However, relapses are common in HIV positive patients. The infection is acquired by inhalation with a primary infection occurring early in life and uh, the microorganism remains latent uh, in the host and uh, then it could be reactivated uh, in case of immunosuppression or in case of immunocompromised state. Clinical presentation can be quite variable. Some patients can be completely asymptomatic and in some patients it may follow rapidly fatal course with uh, uh, fast progression to respiratory failure. Alright, so this is pneumocystosis. Thanks for watching.